Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be walking you through the Lemon Sky collection for Photoshop. I'm going to come up here and open the action panel up. This is a complete start to finish workflow for outdoor portrait images from everything that you need um, to creative edits and light leaks and more. This is a massive action set. <laughs> so I'm going to click up here and change this to button mode. And that way we have everything in one click order. If your action panel looks a little bit like this, a little bit messy, simply grab the side here and drag it in. For help installing or if you're generally new to Photoshop Actions, please do visit um, the LSP Actions YouTube and you can find videos on there of how to kind of install and get started with Photoshop Actions. Okay, so let's start here. Toolkit, you have some um, some basic actions here. Make a duplicate image, for example, which will open your entire image on a new as a new as a completely new image. This is great if you don't want to edit over your original for some reason. You also have take a snapshot and flatten, which will appear up here in your history. You will have this scattered throughout the action as well. So I'm going to start here the, the workflow multi bases. You will probably find one of these will work generally better for your shooting style, or it does depend on the image. You have underexposed images, um, images that may be overexposed, a harmony base, which is a nice balanced, healthy histogram, which is all kind of automatic um, balance, gentle mini base, does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm going to play the Lemon Sky signature base for this one. This is set up a multitude of layers for you to work with that will really help balance your image and give you a great foundation to start with. So down here we have the Lemon Sky base, you can slide the opacity on all of these until you're happy with the general base to your image. I think I'm going to go about there. Shadows and highlights, again this will bring in your highlights down, it will bring your shadows up, it just adds balance to your image. Brightness and contrast. Okay, add some of that in. You can turn these on or off. You can paint them on and off, you can do whatever you like with them. Can we warm up a little bit? Maybe reduce some of the um, <clears throat> slight green cast on the skin here. So I'm just going through and um, deciding kind of where I wish to paint these and where I don't. So that's before and after, that's using the Lemon Sky signature base. Sometimes you might find this is all you need for your edit. The next section we come to is the one click image balance here. These apply an effect to your entire image, although of course you can paint them off with a black brush. So I think for this one it's generally really quite balanced from the Lemon Sky base, but I might just warm it up a little bit. You can slide the opacity or play these more than once. Perhaps pop the colour a little bit on the hair in the background. I might paint this one off the skin. So I'll select a black brush and just bring that off a little bit. And flatten. The next section we're on to is the multi-layer workflows. These again set up multiple layers um, like the bases did in the beginning but these are for editing the skin. You have complete fast retouch workflow and radio retouch workflow. You can skip these all together and just add individual paints if you want to. I'm going to play the Radiant Retouch workflow. This will give me a real head start when it comes to editing the skin because it lays everything out for me. This one will only work in Creative Cloud because it makes use of the camera raw filter and a couple of other features um, that are only available in Creative Cloud. But the complete fast retouch workflow here will work in um, older versions of Photoshop too. I'm going to come in close to the skin. A white brush has already been selected, I've got 100% opacity, 25% flow. And I'm going to use perfectly soft skin, just to soften up the skin a little bit here. Pick out some of these details. A 
brighten the eyes. Perhaps get rid of a little bit of the red, um, maybe a little bit of the yellow. Add a little bit of depth to the skin using the contour action here. down onto the soft again and just soften up around here. A little bit, we want to kind of take attention away from the centre of the face and bring attention into the eyes and the lips. Darkening areas, I'm going to grab a big brush and just bring this slightly around the edge. Again, bringing the focus into the face. Now we have a lot more depth in the skin though. I'm going to turn the yellow gone down just a little bit because I think I've taken a little bit too much out of the skin. So it's always good to turn on and off just to see where you are and flatten. I'm coming down to the skin brushes. I have Freckle Fabulous. I'm going to use this one just to kind of pop those freckles just a little bit more. We'll also take down some of the highlights with that one, which is good. I'm going to go in for one of the skin foundations here. I think I'm going to use Cream Soft Foundation. This is a nice pale, creamy colour, um, but not as pale as the porcelain. And um, with a white brush selected, I'm just going to paint this in on the skin here. This will soften and add a nice creamy kind of toning to the skin. I'm avoiding the eyes and the eyebrows. If you do go over, grab a black brush and make sure you paint off. Now we're onto the eyes. Um, I'm going to sharpen the eyes up. I think I'm also going to play the eyelashes, line up and brows, just to kind of darken those lashes a little bit. And the dual iris colour. This will bring some really nice um, toning back into those irises, make them kind of dazzle a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom in and use a white brush. So we're on the dual iris. I'm just going to add this in. You'll see this really picks out the colour of the eyes. The eyeliner, this will darken um, and bring attention to the lashes. And the brows, there, so it's picking the, uh, picking the hair out and sharpen the eyes. I'm going to use this all over. I'm also going to use it to sharpen the lips. <laughs> That's really making those eyes pop out of the image now. You have lip brushes here. I may add a little highlight to the lips. This just will accentuate the natural highlight that's there. Again, bring attention into those lips with a real painterly kind of feel. And of course, amongst all of these, you have plenty of other actions as well, depending on your image. I'm going to soften the hair down. Just really tame that in because I really want the eyes and the lips and the face to be kind of the sharpest area of this image. So I'm just going to use this to really lightly soften the hair. I think I'm also going to play the painted hair action, which will add a real painterly feel to the hair. Also darken and crisp it up a little bit, almost so you can kind of reach out and touch. And flatten. Now we're coming to the light play overlays. Um, I'm going to add, I can see kind of the light is coming in from this side of the image a little bit more. So I think I'm going to add a light leak in from the left. Once this one's played out, you can paint it off your subject or anywhere else you don't want it to show. You can slide the opacity if you want to. So I think I'm just going to paint that off here where there's a natural kind of shadow. Perhaps slide the opacity down a touch. Have haze as well. This is a guided layer, so it will come up with instructions as you go. Gradient box will pop up. 
drag the haze where you want it to go. So we may want a little bit of haze maybe over this side of the image to cover up this darker kind of area which I feel is a little bit distracting. And hit OK. You can come back here, double click and move it if you need to, like this. And you can double click here and choose the colour if you want to. But I actually really like the colour it's <laughs> chosen luckily enough. So I'm going to come here on the haze layer and I'm just going to paint this off the subject. And I'm going to bring the opacity down I think. It's a little bit less dominating. And flatten. And then here we have a one click finish section. This is great if you're kind of already done with your editing and that's it. I've just played a big net here, which I'm going to paint off the bottom of my subject. Let's just darken that background down a little bit, bringing the attention back into the face. And then you have a signature wash section. This is where you can add a real kind of finishing colour, like your signature overlay. You may find a combination of these really work for you. You may want to find one that you love for all images. You may like to try different ones every time. So I'm trying out Violet Loves right now. And you can see the finish this has popped over. Really subtle. You can turn it up and paint it off areas if you want to. But I'm happy leaving that one quite low. Or you could go the other way and play um, something a little cooler. Down here we have Summer Vibe. This one will put a really kind of cool summer tone over it. And I'm going to slide that right down. So that's Summer Vibe. And I'm also going to take a snapshot here with Violet Loves. I think I'm preferring this one. So I'm just flattening down. And then you have a finishing section here. You have bring up the lights, turn down the lights, sharpen for print. Um, you can resize for Facebook, resize for Instagram, for your website. You can convert to sRGB um, for your clients. You can save the original file and save as a copy. I'm going to turn down the lights um, and I'm going to brush this off the subject. So I just want that background tiny bit darker. I do like a nice dark background. But the beauty of these actions is you can edit them you know completely um, along with your vision. And for bring up the lights, I'm just gonna paint that onto the face. Snapshot and flatten. So this is where we started. These are the snapshots that have been taken, which are great because like, you can see like, exactly what you've done and you can go back to any point. And this is where we finished. So before and after, using the Lemon Sky collection. With the snapshots you can go through like this and you'll see how you've edited so the Lemon Sky base there. Colourpop, warm up, the radiant workflow. Freckle Fabulous, Cream Soft Foundation, the eyes, lip highlights, um, the hair. We added the light leak in here, added um, a personal haze over that side, and yet, Summer Vibe or Violet Loves. And a little light and darkened finish. This set, this complete set here, is available at www.lsp-actions.com and please do watch the other videos, they're a little bit faster. This one I've deliberately gone quite slowly to go through everything. The other videos I will be moving a little bit faster. Thanks for sticking around.